everyone. I'm Jim from Loopcore, Minnesota. You may have seen some of our Facebook posts about mini equipment, specifically skidsters. This is a CAT uh, 259 V3 that we just did for a customer. I'd like to point out a couple things of what we're doing here and why. Uh, let's start with what the importance of keeping a machine like this greased. Uh, we're normally targeting three cc's an hour roughly on a machine like this, but different points require different amounts of grease. So if we can bring you back here, what we did is we put an auto loop system on here. And I'll start in the back and just kind of give you a, a show of what we've done here. We're using LubeCore's hydraulic powered pump. So basically it uses standard grease cartridges. The pressure to operate the pump comes from the boom cylinder. Every time the boom goes up, it delivers one stroke of grease. It, as you can see, it's very compact, very small, uses standard tubes of grease. We did integrate a pressure gauge so the operator from his position can turn around and confirm that he's seeing pressure on the grease. From there, there's a different size metered injectors and these range uh, in displacement, generally about a fraction of a cc every time the boom operates. From there, we're following a main line down and we'll show you most of the components are tucked underneath, but I can give you a feel for how we're dividing the grease up. So if you look over here, what we've done is we've mounted a series of these divider valves. And what this is, is the grease comes in and we're able to partition and control the flow of grease to certain points by how many outputs we give it and how many blocking plugs. And this gets a little complicated, but for today we'll just suffice it to say that when the pump generates pressure, the machine needs to be broken down and certain points need more grease than the other. And that's how we're doing it through a series of these dividers that are housed inside the machine, protected from um, abrasion, wear, and uh, accidents. If you want to step over to the front, you can see Nathan's put one of the dividers up here controlling the, the grease flow to the front end of the machine. How we're doing it is we're protecting the bucket pins we drilled and tapped through the boss of the weld and we're using this heavy steel pipe. And if you look at it, you can see that it's a very heavy wall, very thin inner diameter. We feel that this is gonna give the best protection to make sure that grease comes out of the sock line and gets down into the bucket. Uh, the other points you can see are well hidden and protected. Uh, the reason we do that is a skid stir gets into some tight positions and we wanna make sure that everything stays hidden. Lastly, one thing we did on this machine is we did integrate a wire or a lead into the cab when the tube is empty. Uh, it sends an electrical signal to the operator telling him that it's time to change the tube. Hopefully you can see from what we've got here, we've done a lot of things to protect the integrity of the system that's on here. We did a lot of things like reversing the pins to make sure that the feed comes from the interior versus the exterior. But again, this is what we do for uh, mini equipment. Uh, we like working on cats. And it's got a really nice layout and the system seems to work well. If you have any questions about what Loop 4 Minnesota does, feel free to reach us. Uh, you can check us out on our website and um, or send us a Facebook message. We're happy to get back to you.